In this video, we'll see the basic type of framework that is linear framework, also known as record and playback framework. This is the easiest framework of all times. Let us see that what exactly it says. If you want to test an application under test, that is my flight sample application, what things do you need in a linear framework or record and playback framework? It's very simple. It says you need a test scripts, okay, the scripts which you write in the editor pane, that is the test scripts. The extension is nothing but MTS, dot MTS is the extension. Plus you need the object repository, local object repository, that is dot MTR. So if you have these two things, you can do a linear framework testing via this on the application under test. So I'll show you an example of this uh, linear framework, what it looks like. You just need the scripts and you need the object repository. That's it, nothing more than that. So let me show you an example here. This is the framework, yeah. So if you see, this is the, these are the scripts, okay? These are the scripts you have recorded here. That is the framework linear. I have the scripts in the form of .mtr extension and I have the object repository. If I go to this resources, object repository, so I have this local objects. If you see, these are the local objects or you can say as yeah, these are the local objects which are given here. So I only need these two things. This can be achieved by record and playback. So it's a very simple and the basic one. But as I said, there are many advantages and disadvantages of this linear framework. What are the things? I'll show you here. I'll just go back to the slide. So what are the things? What are the advantages and disadvantages? It is the easiest framework. You just click on record and you playback. That is the easiest framework which you can see that. No need of automation expertise. Even if you're a manual tester, you can do this linear framework by default. Just click on record and playback. This is nothing but a, uh, no need of in this place, linear framework. Next is no configuration of elements required. When I say configuration of elements, I'm trying to tell you about the object repository. You don't need the share objects. You don't need the actions. You don't need the library files, nothing absolutely. Just these things as record and playback. Only two things, MTR and the object repository, that's it. What are the disadvantages? This script, you cannot use it another location for another domain itself. For example, the test data is hard coded. You cannot parameterize. There's no data table here. So you cannot parameterize. It is hard coded. If you want to change from one software to another software, you, can, you cannot do that, right? Application. So you have to keep on changing the scripts. It is very, very difficult to maintain. Since this, there are scripts will be very lengthy, it will be difficult to maintain, right? Little re reuse of scripts. That means you cannot reuse that scripts again and again because there are no functions given here. So all the scripts will be written at one place, at one location, and it would be very difficult to follow these three things. That is, test data is very hard coded. Second thing you can see as difficult to maintain and you cannot reuse into another scripts. So I hope you have understood what are different things in the linear framework, the easiest framework. Till now, whatever we have done is linear framework we have followed at many places, right? So I hope you have understood and that's all for this video.